Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Like I said, begin to share this video right now. Let your friends and your relations, everyone to come on, 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 on board right now because I got a word. This thing cannot catch us unaware. And so what is the mind of God concerning what is going on? They call it coronavirus. Uh, that devil is a liar. Whatever the name of the demon is, is going to go back to where it's coming from. In the name of Jesus, I know that God is not asleep. So, I don't know who you are. Just know. Let me read a word for you to remember. Now, I, I, I want to read this scripture briefly now. When we were in National Stadium recently, the Lord led me to reading this scripture. And I think I'm going to read it again. In, in um, the book of Songs of Solomon, Songs of Solomon, I believe chapter 3, verse 6, he said, Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness, like the pillar of smoke, perfumed with mire and frankincense, with all the powders of the merchants? With all the powders of the merchants. Note that word, Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Now, I want to look at another scripture again, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And I look at from verse 4. It says, For the weapons of our welfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I, 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 as you are listening to the sound of my voice, I want you to know that a lot of things are happening, prophecies are going on. People are saying all kinds of things. Everyone wants to say, everyone is prophesying. Everyone is saying this is our own version. But listen to me wherever you are. I want you to know that God cannot be caught unaware. Now, please note this. I know churches at home, churches that should be praying for nations, are now meant to be isolated, to live in isolation. But guess what? They can't stop us. The system or whatever it is cannot stop us because the prayer must still be going on like it's going on here right now. Now listen to me, wherever you are. When we are at National Stadium, um, I believe in February, it, we, nobody knew that it was going to be like this in Nigeria. But I gave a scripture, if you all can remember. I said, who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Now watch it now. Didn't come out alone. It came out perfume with Maya and frankincense. And I began to let us know what uh, frankincense and Maya means. Now, the point is you don't expect someone coming out of the wilderness to be smelling with fine, pleasant aroma. You ought to make it, you ought to be smelling of sweat, smelling of sickness, smelling of corona. But guess what? This person came out not smelling like someone that had corona because he didn't catch it. He came out of the wilderness. Not only that, he came out with evidence. Now, I want to prophesy and say this to all the churches and all the believers all over the world. Let me tell you this here. By the time this is all over, we all will be thanking God that it happened. We all, because you know what? Romans 8 verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good. Note it, to them that love God. To them that are called according to his purpose. Now, when he says all things, he didn't say some things. Now, the devil will always try to come in. Try to think, well, when I do this, let me tell you this here. If the devil had known that killing Jesus will give me a new salvation, he would have just left him where he was. If the devil had known, or the brothers of Joseph had known, that throwing him in the pit, attempting to kill him, will make him to become a prime minister in Egypt, they would have left him where he was to become an errand boy, carrying fruit from his father to his brothers. That would have... Joseph would have ended up like that just as an errand boy. What am I trying to say? If the devil had known, if King Saul had known whom David would be, he would have left him alone. But guess what? The devil is seeing the trick of not knowing. So whatever you call coronavirus, let me say this here. Mind what you listen to. Mind who you hear. Mind what you hear. I mean, because what am I saying? All kinds of things are being said now. All kinds of, I'm not doubting whether it's God, whether it's not God, whether it's this God that brought it, is it not God that brought it? Apostle Paul said the other day, he said, there was given unto me a, a, a messenger of Satan to buffet me. He said, a, 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 I mean, call it messenger of Satan. Note this now. He said, three times I prayed, three times I heard. And he said, and he said what? Say, 
and my grace is sufficient for you. So what we Christians and believers should tap into now is the grace of God. The message you have been hearing in church. Come on. Begin to play it over and over again. You are going to see it. Somebody just reminded me early this year, at least something like that, I said. I just said it. I said in the next three months, we didn't know it was going to be like this. Now, get this again. Get, get this clear. In National Stadium, I said, who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Where are we now? This is a true wilderness. But guess what? This person came out. He came out not, he didn't come out as someone that was sick. He came out with good evidence. He came out clean. He came out with full evidence. What am I trying to say? I'm letting you understand that it is time for the church to soar. The devil cannot win this battle. So you don't start talking. I heard someone talking about where are the men of God? Where are these? Where are that? I want you to understand that God once upon a time we always bring us to a place where we also we know that we are not God. Where we also it makes it brings us to a place of look, son, I have always been in charge. Sometimes this is a state where okay, look at Apostle Paul, Philippians 4 4. He, he began to write, he said, he, he began to tell the people the Philippians, he said, Rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Where was he writing from? From isolation. Where? In prison. He was isolated, and at that time, he took to write almost all the book of the New Testament. Why? Because of the so-called isolation. Sometimes, it can make us come out so strong. It can make us come out so refreshed. It can make us come as full of revelation. But what I'm trying to say to every one of you, get ready, because when this is getting over, you will be thanking God it happened. But one thing I want to be sure, I want it to get clear, is that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hear me now. This disease is not for us. Note this here. This disease, whatever they call it, is not for us. He said the disease of the Egyptians is not our portion. If you also remember, early this month, I came up with a scripture. I began to say, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings, how I carried you on eagles' wings. So ladies and gentlemen, this is time to experience God taking us higher. This is time for us to know that Baba is in control. Now hear me. Don't have to share any video that will not glorify God. If they share anything to you that is not bringing faith, that is not exhorting your faith, delete it. Send it back to sender. If people bring things to insult men of God, please delete it. Send it back to sender. If people bring anything that makes you afraid, delete it. Send it back to sender. Don't ever help to share or to propagate fear. Because fear has torment. The scripture we just read is a casting down imagination or what? And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. That means if it's outside the knowledge of God, it is not of God. So we should be careful right now to avoid fear. To avoid anything fear. Just let's know that this so-called quarantine did not start today. In Egypt, it was there. Even God quarantined his children. He said they should stay indoor. He said why? He said because an angel is coming tonight. And where he sees the blood, he will pass over. So what I'm trying to say is that there is nothing happening now that has not happened. You still remember Joshua chapter 6? The Bible said the gate of Jericho was straightly shut up. Nothing came in, nothing come out, come, came out. That means their border was closed. If you watch the system of the world now, the borders have been closed. If you watch the people before who trust to run abroad for treatment, are no longer going. They can't even go. So it's bringing every one of us to make us understand that money is not all. There are times in our lives that everyone thinks we're rushing here and there. Money, I want to make this. People that have money now cannot travel. People that have private jet now cannot fly. People that have party now cannot have money to throw party, cannot even throw party. People that want to go somewhere now cannot go anywhere. Things are shutting down. Even the so-called passport, international passport, green card. Hey, how I wish I have a green card. How I wish I have a visa. Even people with visa now, their visa seems to be useless in their hand because they can't travel. How about those that have money? 
to take themselves abroad for medical treatment. They can't go. So what is what is happening? I'm talking about Romans 8.28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. I want to spend time to pray with you and your family. We're going to spend time to pray in this way. We're going to speak in tongue right now and take, take authority and tell the devil he's a liar. He cannot regulate us. But the point is this. I want to say that everyone should just maintain what you have to do. Just do whatever the government is saying. Maintain distance, whatever. Do your own part. But take time out and pray. That is what we are trying to say. Take time out and pray. The devil is a liar. The devil is trying to climb down to make sure prayer does not go around the world again. But you know what? He says, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. Listen to me. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Perfume with frankincense, with mire, and with all the powders of the merchants. Don't forget, this world came before this thing. So we are in the wilderness now. But when we are coming out, oh my God, we are coming out strong. I want you to keep your faith alive. I'm talking to you. Don't ever, don't forget this year. When the Israelites came out of Egypt, you remember, they came out very rich. They were in captivity for 430 years. And when they were coming out, you know what? They came loaded. They didn't go. He said, I will not allow you to go empty-handed. So the word of God is still playing right now. Everyone is being quarantined. Everyone is sorry. Everyone is being isolated. Now, if everyone is isolated, it means that, ladies and gentlemen, when we are coming out of this so-called isolation, we are coming out with the powders of the matcha. We are coming out with frankincense. We are coming out with Amaya. We are coming out. We are coming out with great things. We are coming out with testimonies. So wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice, please note this. Note this. Don't help to propagate evil. Men of God, I want you to listen to me. I've seen so many men of God helping to share some things. This is not time to share things that will break down faith. Without faith, there is no next phase. It is faith that takes us to next phase. It's not time to be afraid. It's not time to look at <laughs> someone say, um, where is the power in the church? Where is this in the church? It's not about the church. It is a virus case. This is not bacteria. This is a virus. This is... A, a warfare going on in the system of the world. It's a warfare. But I want you to understand that whatever the devil meant for evil, God is going to turn it around to his glory in our lives. A lot of things have been said on social media. All kinds of insults are going on. This one prophesied this. This one prophesied that. That one did not do this. But mind what you say. Let us leave judgment unto God. Don't judge anybody. To you young men, to you pastors who speak against fathers, Fathers that have been dead, be careful not to incur your own plague. Please, don't speak against fathers. Honor them. No matter what, let us honor them. That's what it says. Like we are obeying the government now. That's what our scripture says. The scripture says we should obey the government. And so every one of us, we have to do that because the scripture says it. So what am I trying to say? We also have to have this reverence for fathers. It's not time. Don't forget, without father, there is no feather. And without feather, you cannot go further. Don't forget, I repeat, without father in your life, you can't go further. And without feather, you can't fly further. Because father gives feather to fly further. What am I trying to say? I'm talking about soaring on the wings of your shoulder. So it's not time for you to say all kinds of things, for you to break down and begin to share evil. Coronavirus, key 20 so so. Coronavirus is that. Coronavirus is this. It came from China. The Chinese today, they are restored. Now, if the Chinese or whatsoever, I believe this thing is humbling people. I watched a video where I saw in hospitals in Europe, I saw people praying, even in the same China. They were praying in the name of Jesus. I saw a, one of the presidents in Europe crying and said, we are out of control. I think we need God. I said, I am looking up to heaven now. In the time past, such president in Europe will never say that. He will never say that. He got to a time, men thought they were God. He got to a time, men thought that everything is about money. Everything is about influence. Everything is about fame. Look at our politicians. 
Look at the politicians all over the world. Look at our pastors. Look at people all over the world. And understand there are still good, there are still bad among us. But don't let's major on the bad. There are still good ones. There are still elected ones. So be careful of what you have to share. I repeat to every one of you that have been following me, I repeat myself. Please don't help to propagate evil. Don't help to propagate bad news. Anytime they send anything that will not help, somebody sent someone in the hospital who was dying and said, I immediately deleted it. It is not. All we need to do is to pray for them. Pray for them. And to all of us that you live around the area, if you have a way of helping your neighbor, please, this is time for Christians to show love. Let every one of us show love. Let every one of us begin to know that God himself is on the throne. The devil cannot catch us on our way. I said it. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Perfume with the merchants and uh, with the uh, powders of the merchants, frankincense and man. What am I trying to say? He came out of the wilderness. He didn't die here. Coronavirus is a wilderness. He can't kill you, sir. Observe all the things they say you should observe. But listen, it is not your portion. Listen, Psalm 8, verse 17. He said you shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Except you have stopped declaring. That's why I say, don't declare the works of the devil. Declare the works of the Lord. Anything that will edify people, you can share that. But whatever will not edify anybody. Comedians, some of them are good. Some are making caricatures of uh, pastors, of or men of God, of God himself. But please, don't let's blaspheme. It is time for us to agree together. All of us, if two, three on earth shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. Let me ask you. If there is no problem, how do you know there is God? If everything works according to your plan, how do you know there is God? If you are, were not sick, how do you know there is healing? If you were not poor, how do you know God can make you rich? So the point I'm trying to say is that the devil thinks he has hit us. But guess what? He's going to make the church wiser. For instance, now, this evening, I'm going to be having communion service. I'm going to be having communion service online with all our people praying over communion. So, wherever you are, try and get um, whatever, Korans, Ribina, whatever. Get it ready. I'm going to be praying. After the prayer, you take it, you can sprinkle in your house. Like it happened in Egypt. He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. Jesus said, do this often. In my name. He said, he that does not eat my flesh or drink my blood has no life in him. So don't forget this here. Communion is godly. Jesus commanded us to do it. So this evening, I believe by, uh, is it 11 or 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock, right? Yes, I think 10 o'clock. By 10 p.m., I would be online. Of course, with everyone and also with our uh, church um, platform. I'm going to be online where i will pray over communion you will see wonders i'm talking to you here you will see wonders you know sometimes when you see people talk all kinds of things where are the pastors now where are this one now it's not about the pastor it's not at all it's just like the people come online they abrogate the things that government should do to pastors the pastors did this pastor did not do that one this one did not do this the people you voted for for god's sake you should look more and ask them to do whatever. But that's, I'm not here to talk more about that. I'm just letting you understand that God is still on the throne. What do we need to do now is to see how we can salvage Nigeria. Is to see that whatever the enemy meant for evil will not bring down this nation. And one thing we should know that God is on the throne. Let me tell you this here. Quote me. Just write it down. That when this thing is over. Maybe I will come again. We will, by the grace of God, we we'll still talk again. You will just give yourself. You will be thanking God it happened. I'm talking to you. You will be thanking God it happened. You know why? You are going to see a lot of things take shape. You are going to see a lot of humility. Most people that thought they were God, they are going to come back to human level. Most people that thought that they are the shakers and the movers that with money they can do and undo, you will see them in humility. I'm talking to you. You are going to see that sometimes you will see that our hospitals will be will be equipped now because for instance if you watch now many cannot even travel and the hospitals are not okay so you see that many things will take shape we are going to see that god will use this i'm not saying god brought this plague 
please don't misunderstand me but i'm letting you know that all things work together for good i believe the scripture i believe the word of god so don't be afraid Fear not, fear not. That devil and the modern in law is a liar. I was in National Stadium, you remember, in February, and I told the whole people, who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? He came out perfume with perfume. He came out with frankincense. He didn't come out smelling like a sick person. He didn't come out smelling like someone that was in the bush. He came out with a different aroma, powerful aroma. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to celebrate. Get ready. Some of you get ready to become landlords. Get ready to take charge. Get ready. I'm talking to you. Get ready. Now, listen. In case something is telling you you have corona, listen to me. You, you, there. You are listening now. You don't have it. You don't have it. Note my word. I say you don't have it. This evening I'll be praying over communion. Ensure you keep yourself warm. Can I also tell you, keep yourself warm. We live in Nigeria. We don't have this problem for God's sake. People should fear not. Yes, just let's maintain and obey what the government is saying. But please, fear not. Don't be afraid. You don't have it. Something is telling you, hey, don't, don't, hey, can't you see you are coughing? Can't you see you are this? Can't you see you are cold? When you had malaria in the time past, was it corona? When you were feeling cold last time, was it corona? So you don't have it. You don't. You are a child of God. You cannot have it. This thing is not for those who are covered in the blood. Not at all. Not at all. A thousand shall fall by my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. He shall not come near me. I want us to pray. I feel like praying right now. Wherever you are, just let's open your mouth in tongues and let's pray together. Open your mouth in tongues there. Open E rakuta kabaseke, i rakata kaba liboroto, i brakata kasikerebo, i zatori kamasete, e rekete boko rikata yaba, aderekerebo sande, i rakata barikote masete, i brato le mase derebo, a brakoto li kato li masete, i rakata kaba, i zakoti kene masoto, a zoto li kerene, i rapakata, a zoto rikata, e ramamama, i zakarabaku santerebo, i Branto le kete makuranda yaba e sekete ke borikata yande azoko toko le kerema izabaragada gaba linde i father in the name of Jesus we arrest this coronavirus we arrest it wherever you are wherever house you are trying to enter go in the name of Jesus pack your things and go all that home our homes our people the people of God those that are called by His name. They are all covered with the blood of Jesus. So touch not. You have no right to trespass. You have no right to come close to that child, to come close to that man, that woman. You are living in fear. I want you to rise up and know you don't have it. You don't have it. You don't. You don't. You don't. It's not your portion. It's not your portion. I declare it is well with you. I declare you are healed in the name of Jesus. Let this turn around. Let this turn around to the glory of God. Let this turn around in this nation. Let God arise. 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 Baba arise. Lord arise. And let your enemies be scattered. Coronavirus scatter. Whatever they call you, scatter. In the name of Jesus, scatter. In the name that is above every other name. I want to decree. Poverty will not be our portion. None of us will taste poverty. It's not possible. Let everything turn upside down. The people of God will be standing. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, I, God, will hear from heaven and heal their land. I understand all kinds of things have been said. God is trying to humble the world. I'm not doubting it. God wants us to repent. I'm not doubting it. But one thing I can tell you is that God will use this to the glory of his name. God will use this to the glory of his name. Child of God, fear not. And be careful of what you say. Be careful of what you hear. Regulate what you hear. Regulate what you see. At this hour, at this hour, what you need now is faith booster. You need booster. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm giving you booster. You need booster now. You need booster. You need faith booster. You don't need anything that will deflate your faith. You don't need deflators. 
You don't need deflators. You don't need any news. Hey, uh, so so and so died. So so and so is this. This one is that. Let me tell you this here. It is going to roll away. It will not last. It will not. God, I played the music just now. God in the mountain is the same God in the valley. God in the day is a God in the night. What are we talking about? God, nothing limits God. So are you telling me that God has forgotten us? He said, if I see 50 people who are righteous, he said, I will not bring this plague. I will not even bring this plague that I want to bring. But ladies and gentlemen, Sodom and Gomorrah had none. And the plague came. But are you telling me all over the world? Are you telling me that there are no, no more than 50 saints? Come on, I'm talking scripture here. Child of God, Baba is in control. All you just need is this hour, stay humble. This hour, take time and meditate. It's time for all of us. Apostle Paul would not have written those episodes if he was not, how do I say, he was not <laughs> sent on isolation. He wrote, he began to write to people who were not in prison. He was in prison and he was writing to people outside. He said, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. <laughs> how can somebody in prison be telling people outside the prison to rejoice? In other words, don't cry for me. Don't be sorrowful for me because here I am chopping life with 30, 10 fingers. That's why he was telling them. He was saying, Rejoice. Don't be afraid. And he took time to write all those episodes we are reading today. If they did not send him aside, those things will not be. Now, listen to me, you man of God. It's not time to, for you to be afraid. It's not time for you to begin to disobey the government or one thing. Listen to me. Sit down and meditate. And there is a way. There is a way. It's going to work. It will work for all of us. It's working for us. It's working for our children. It's working for our nation. It's working all over the world. I mean it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's not time to be afraid. It's not time. It's working. Don't let the devil deflate you. Don't let the devil bring you down. Don't let the devil put you down. Or tell the devil that you are the boss. You and Jesus, you are in control. The devil cannot be in control. The system of the world, I want you to know, may have gone in this way, but I want you to know, God still presides over the affairs of men. I want to declare that every one of us, including me, you here, we are blessed. It's uns we are unshakable. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon, I mean no weapon. I mean no weapon. And I command this plague to return back to sender in the name of Jesus. I command it to go back to sender in the name of Jesus. It is not our portion. It cannot come near our dwelling. So wherever you are, those of you in America, hold on. God help is on the way. Hold on. Fear not. Stay under the covering. Stay under the covering. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Messiah shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then, guess what? He said, and I will say, come on, begin to mind what you say now. Mind what you hear and mind what you say. I will say of the Lord, he is my Lord and my refuge. So remember, mind what you say right now. It's so important. Just know that God is in charge. Just know that the devil cannot win this battle. You and God, you and Christ, you are on the winning team. I want you to know that you are in control. Don't tell me the devil has taken over. He cannot take over. He can I mean it. He cannot, he cannot take over. So if you need to be strong, be strong in the Lord. Don't forget the word I gave in National Stadium. I said, who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Now, he didn't only come out. He came out with what? He came out with frankincense. He came out with Maya. You remember when Jesus was born? Those were the things that they gave to him. You give these things to royal people. You give them to people, the king. It's meant for kings. It's meant for kings. So I want you to know that this time around, where we are coming out, we are coming out better. The church is coming out stronger. We are coming out stronger. Children of God are coming out stronger. Don't forget, the work of the heathens are laid in stock for the righteous. This is time for the righteous to just begin to rejoice. Your righteousness was not acquired just because of you. You acquired the righteousness because Christ gave it to every one of us free of charge. So let us take they just know that God is in control. And I also pray, not only in America, we pray for those of us in Europe. We pray that God himself rests his hand upon every one of you. Those of you in Europe, those of you in Asia, continent, those of you in American continent, African continent, we reach out to every one of you. 
by the grace of God, we pray for every nation right now. We command the knowledge of God to increase. We command, let the spirit of God overwhelm every home, overwhelm every life. Enter governmental places, palaces, houses. Those that don't know that Jesus reigns, let them begin to know that Jesus reigns. Now, let me tell you here, you can realize now, even people that don't used to come to church on Sunday, they are looking for church to come in now. Many calls are coming in. Hey, Daddy, is there no service? Daddy, how can we come to church? That's exactly what is happening. You can see this thing. God is going to use it to waking up backsliders. He's going to use it to his glory. Now, I don't know who you are. You don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Man of God, don't rebel. Don't rebel. No, just stay. And don't have to share evil things. Don't have to share anything that will not make the body of Christ to be at peace. Anything that will set you against. Don't forget, it's kingdom against kingdom. Some people will come in, look, quote some scriptures, quote this and quote that, tell you this and tell you that. But hear me, the Bible says, test every spirit, whether they have God. Recently, there was a, 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 something that went viral. A, a madman was preaching. And everyone began to share the, the video of a madman that was preaching. Then I asked some people, I said, how I wish you could share your pastor's message like this. Because this is a madman. If, if, now I want you to know, he may be preaching, but which spirit is he using to preach? He's preaching, yes, he may be preaching the truth. Have you forgotten the girl possessed with the spirit of divination in Acts chapter 16? She was saying the truth. She was preaching the scripture. She was telling people that Paul and Silas, that they were men of God. He was talking that Jesus was Lord. But Paul looked at her and knew that the spirit backing her up was wrong. And he said, come out of her. And the girl went down. And guess what? From that day, they threw Paul in prison. You still remember? God did not abandon Paul in prison. God came out. That's why I say he will not abandon us. What I'm trying to say is that mind what you have to share. Test the spirit. Now, it's not right. Somebody come up on social media. Maybe a person has taken some marijuana, like some of us used to smoke those days. Maybe somebody has taken something and he comes up and he's saying jargon. And he's saying it in truth. But it does not mean that the spirit backing him up is right. So test the spirit whether it's right. Don't share evil. Don't help. They may be saying the right thing. They may be saying, but if it's not your pastor, the person you know, Koro Koro, you don't know who he is. You don't know whether he's even sleeping with somebody's a wife somewhere. You don't know who he is. All everybody does is to come on social media. We all come, but test the spirit whether it's of God. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to let every one of us understand. It's not time to share evil things. It's not time to share anything that is not of God. Let us stand. And those of you that have been living in rebellion under the ministry where you are, please don't forget it is dangerous. It's time for you to come in under the umbrella. Every ministry has grace. It's no time for you to live in rebellion against your church and you think you are winning. Don't forget, you cannot win alone. You need a covering all over you. You need it. You need it. Just like now, I am praying for all my members. I'm praying for Christians and all. But listen, assuming you are living in rebellion against me, I pray. I'm not the one who answers prayer. Do you think you'll be covered? So please, I beg you, let us stop rebellion. Some of you are watching on air right now. You cannot share. You don't want. But if somebody doing birthday or wanting, you start to share. Now, you cannot share. Now, because why? I was supposed to say, remember the scripture tells us, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. So why not let's stand boldly now? Stand shoulder by shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Let the devil know who is the boss. Now, listen to me. You are in control. You cannot be out of control. You are in control. God puts you in control. He said, occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. That's what Christ said. He's also told us to have dominion. You remember Genesis 1, 26? Have dominion. So what are we talking about? We still have dominion. Come what me. We are in control. God has put us in charge. And so at this hour, like I said again, I pray for all, everyone right now, those one way or the other in the hospital, those that have been afflicted, we send, we command healing power of God to begin to reach out to them in the name of Jesus. We pray for everyone. We pray for everyone that they will come to the knowledge of Christ. We pray for everyone. We pray for everyone that they will come to the knowledge of Christ. Let God himself use this to convert. Use this to reveal himself to people. That every blood sucking power in this nation, they are going down in the name of Jesus. From now, we declare we are going higher. I want to sign up at this hour. I want to say the Lord bless you. The Lord lift you higher. The Lord cause his countenance upon you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be gracious unto you. You will move from glory to glory. May your life accelerate. I bless you today. I bless your home. I bless your children. Please don't forget, 10 p.m. tonight, I will be here 
with communion. I want to pray over communion so that you can take and sprinkle in your houses. I want to hear the testimony. I want to hear your testimonies. It is well with you. Keep soaring higher. Keep going higher. It is your time. Amen. God bless you all. I sign up at this hour. I'm still your pastor, Ben Irabai, the Jesus soldier. God bless you. Keep rising. Amen. Amen.